Welcome back. We are back at this Dodge Caliber again. This thing has 230 plus thousand miles and uh, things are gonna fail. So every other morning we've been seeing a spot in the driveway. It wasn't oil, I knew it, I smelled it. It was real slimy, so I knew it was coolant. We're gonna show you the easiest way to find a coolant leak in a car, the safest way. It's really gonna be to use one of these pressure testing kits while the engine is cold. It simply attaches to the fill port or the reservoir, however your car is designed. Some cars do not have uh, this type of setup here. We're gonna get this coolant tester on there. We're gonna pump it up to 16 PSI, cause that's what it calls for. And we're gonna see where the leak's coming from. We have the tester set up here. We are gonna pump it up to 16 PSI, go down there and see where it's leaking. Okay, we have it pumped up to about 15. It's losing pressure. And there's our leak right there. Let's go under there and see exactly where it's coming from. All right, we're under here. About to take a look and see where this thing is leaking from. I have no idea right now. Can't see anything. So we're gonna look and come back to this. But it is definitely leaking. As you can see, it's somewhere up on the top of the engine up there. Okay, after some tearing apart, we had to pull off the heat shield to see where this darn leak was coming from. And it is coming from this housing right here. As you can see, there's a little gap. Maybe the gasket's no good. We're just gonna take it off and inspect it. We might have to buy a whole new housing. Don't know yet. We found the problem. The thermostat housing was leaking. Uh, basically the thermostat gasket, essentially. But that is an original Chrysler Mopar part. We're just gonna go ahead to the parts house and get a new one, swap this thing back on. We got the parts. Just got a new thermostat and a new thermostat housing. It's just not worth everything being this deep and not being able to change it out. They do sell this entire housing assembly, but it was not leaking. So we just did the one part for now. We're gonna get it all back together. Make sure if you didn't have the gasket on there, you wanna put that little, I guess, uh, notch there at the 12 o'clock and the bleeder valve right off to the side there. That's how the original one looked. We'll get it installed in there. It goes into the pipe like that and everything else attaches and we'll repressurize the system and make sure it's not leaking. The new assembly fit in there perfectly. You want to kind of have, if it's a doorman, you have the doorman label facing up and the outlet is kind of facing towards the driver's side and up a little bit so you can get the hose in there. But we're going to hook everything back up. We're not going to tighten everything back down, but we'll hook all the hoses back up and then pressurize it again with this little pressure system here. Make sure we don't have a leak anymore and make sure it holds. We put everything back together. We got the pressure tester pumped up to about 16 PSI. We have no leaks happening over here anymore. Nor do we have any leaks down below. So just let it sit for about five minutes under pressure. Make sure nothing's leaking. Button everything up. It's been about 10 minutes. And as you see there, we're still maintaining over 15 pounds. So it's less than a pound loss. It is acceptable to have a one to three PSI difference after pumping up due to everything settling in and there being air gaps in there. But you should generally maintain about the pressure the system's call for, which is 16 for this car. So we're at 15 holding for 10 minutes. It's just fine. And you're just gonna keep looking around for any leaks or anything. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and button everything back up. Start the vehicle, let it warm up, let it cool down. Recheck the coolant, top it off, and you're good to go. We top the system off. We got the radiator, or we got the uh, blower in there set on hot heat and high. We're gonna let this thing warm up, and you're gonna watch here if it starts to go down, you can add some more water or coolant in there. When it starts to rise up, go ahead and put the cap back on, take it for a test drive. <laughs> 